Woo! It is a hot one today. Wes Davies here, and welcome to episode number one of my new video series, Taiwan in Motion. So I'll be taking you guys around, we'll have some fun, have a few adventures, eat some great food, and I will show you some of what this great country has to offer. All right, let's get on the road. There she is, my trusty steed. I call it Grey Thunder. All right, so I got a little bit peckish on the road and I wanted to stop in here and grab a Baozi. I drive past this place every day, I've never gone in, so I think now would be a great time. Let's check it out. Oh man, what a pleasant little park. So I've got my Baozi right here. And you can tell by the red mark that it is curry flavor. So I'm pretty excited to try that. I do know from experience that they can be dangerously hot. And you gotta be careful with these things. So I'm gonna try it out, give it a bite. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Check it out. There is pork inside and curry, I think some onions, maybe even potato, I'm not sure. Really good. All right, so I just bit into my second baozi and it's really nice. She sold me on the whole wheat crust. Check that out. It's got this nice whole wheat crust to it. Inside, it's kind of like just a pork meatball. I think there might be some bamboo shoots in there, but uh, yeah, really nice. And the bread is so fluffy, so bouncy. I'm just gonna finish this up and then we'll head back on the road. So we have arrived at, uh, what's this place called? So we've arrived in Fengshan District, which used to be a city all on its own, but now it's sort of been annexed by the greater Kaohsiung area. But this is one of my favorite markets to come to. In the morning, it's got fruits, vegetables, meat, all that kind of stuff. And then at night, it just turns into a full-on night market. So I'll show you what it looks like during the day. Hey, Hey,还是呀。哦，这个还是呀。这个是香菜酥。哦，香菜酥。香菜酥。哎，香菜酥。这样，你吃吃看，好吃再来买。哎呀，对呀，好吃再来买，就这样。这样，干。All right, so I got my first snack of the day, and I thought she was gonna make some kind of Taiwanese hambao, which is a hamburger, but it's kind of just a, a ton of rice, and I don't know, she told me what it was, but I didn't understand the Chinese. Some kind of powdery substance and some meat, and it is actually incredibly hot, but I'm gonna give it a bite here. Yeah. Look at that, it's almost like a, a burrito, just made entirely of rice. She really squished it in together. All right, let's try this out. Looks pretty good, actually. Got some meat in there, all kinds of stuff. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually pretty good, definitely. Kind of a mix between salty and sweet. Pork floss, a bunch of vegetables, I think they're pickled vegetables, and I don't know, garlic probably. All right, I'm gonna go for another bite here. Mm. Mm. I did not see that coming. So partway through my second bite, it was just this huge crunch. Some kind of fried, deep fried, deep fry. 
Very crunchy. She had these deep fried sticks, and obviously she puts it in the middle because it gives it this really nice satisfying crunch. There's some pickled vegetables in there. The deep fried deep fry that I mentioned. All the red stuff is pork floss and pork as well. Little pieces of pork. It's really tasty. Yeah, that's really nice, super cheap. It's like a dollar. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Happy Alian. Hi. Happy boy. Is how <laughs> so admittedly I'm probably just a tiny little bit late today. Uh, I got to the market by 10.30 but these are the kind of things that open up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So a lot of the shops have started to close down. Did see some nice fruit vendors. There is one more secret part of the market that I'm gonna show you. It's super cool. It's down all these alleyways. Not quite unlike this one. So let's head over there right now.
是什么？红枣。红枣。对 ，You can try it。可以这样子。嗯。The same。Yeah。Go G。这个好吃。好吃。嘿、hey,。谢谢。好，那我刚。So obviously you can see this is a very local market. Everyone is super friendly and they're really happy to see you. I did get sucked into buying some pretty cool stuff. So I got uh, these dragon fruits. I got four of them for about three bucks. And they're nice and plump too. And then this guy was pretty animated and he was selling this chicken. So I got a, I got a nice tray of chicken here with some sort of sauce, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. Yeah, just gave me the sauce. So I'm gonna try that out. And now that I see there's no chopsticks or anything. Oh. Oh, it's chicken grease. Yeah, he served it to me with some chicken grease. Which is pretty cool, I guess. So, there we go. Hmm. See, it's like nice roast chicken. You know. Mm. That's really yummy. And the skin is just super crispy. Mm. Super greasy, super crispy skin. It's a really nice piece of chicken. Oh yeah, that seasoning is really good. Totally yummy. Just so crispy and so juicy. And to be honest, extremely greasy, but I'm loving it. Mmm, that's nice. So check this out. This is such an old part of the city, and some of it is actually lying in ruins. But it's really cool to see. Wow. It almost feels like you're stepping back in time a little bit. Extremely local spot. Brain. So I'm not sure what they do in here, but the entire place is just coated in this black grease. And there's a huge vat, looks like some kind of fryer. I should get here a little earlier. Probably have to admit I'm a little bit lost. But just keep walking, I'll find something. Check this place out. And just like that, I'm back out on the street. What a maze. So, get my bearings here. Oh. Yeah, I parked just down that way, I believe. Oh man, what a crazy adventure. I think, actually, next time I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and come here at like 6 a.m. I'm sure I didn't see half of the possibilities here. Especially when I was down in those alleyways, like some of those giant rooms with cauldrons and grease all over the ceiling. I think a lot of stuff must go down there that I don't even know about. So next time, I will get up early and we will check it out. Uh, I think my friend Mike is actually gonna meet me for lunch. So I'm gonna go find a little park to chill in and wait for Mike. This part of the city never ceases to amaze me. It just feels like you're in ancient China or something. It's so cool. Oh man, it's like 35 degrees outside, so I'm just in here enjoying a nice cool Taiwan beer. Yeah.
soy sauce. Yummy. Probably some salt. And dogan. Got some beef noodle soup. Kong chin tai. And this looks pretty good. Mike, can you cut into that? Oh yeah. See that? That looks good. Oh yeah. Ooh. That looks nice, man. Nice. Never got money. What do you got there, Mike? Some uh, pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Mike likes being on camera. And I got some mango ice juice. Minus Super ice. good. Minus the ice? <laughs> oh, it's just frozen mango. Shin Shin Yi. Because it is breathtakingly hot outside. Video game shopping. Video game shopping. That's what it's all about. There's nothing like being 32 and going and buy some video game phones. Yeah, man. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mike is in here buying a little something special. Oh, that was a great adventure. So Mike got what he wanted. I don't know if I should say anything on camera because it's technically a birthday present for his girlfriend. Uh, so we'll wait a couple weeks, but, but yeah, he got the Switch. And a couple of games, Mario Kart and Super Mario Odyssey. And I wish that we could just play it this afternoon because I have wanted to play those games for so long and I haven't got a Switch yet. But uh, maybe in the future, we'll see. But oh man, was it hot today. So I had to pop into 7-Eleven, grab some strawberry milk, this stuff is super, super, super good. Mmm. Oh yeah. And check this out. The big purchase of the day. So I've been driving around with a little bucket helmet and the amount that we spend on our scooters on a daily basis, you really want to spend a little bit of money and be safe. So I got myself a brand new helmet. Check this thing out. So cool. It's uh, internationally a certified safe got a bunch of air vents and you can actually I think open and close them check that out yeah let a little bit of air in and then on those hot hot days you just pop this guy up open the open the visor the cool little thing about this guy check this boom instant shades bang pretty awesome there super happy with this helmet oh yeah that feels real good. That's probably all I'm gonna be vlogging for right now. I might bring the camera with me. I'm going to uh, a house party tonight. So that should be fun. The food's gonna be great. And we'll catch up with you guys next time. All right, I've just got to my friend Sarah's place and she's got a big lamb feast for us tonight. Got my bottle of wine and I got some Sapporo beer. Yeah, really looking forward to this. I know she's a great chef, so whatever she makes, it's gonna be awesome. And you guys are rock stars. Yeah. We have to wait till it's finished before we take the pictures. Is it? <laughs> Yo, let him play it. Play it. Are you taking the video? Are you video? Oh, yeah. I gotta see the process. <laughs> How good does that look? Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna You've outdone yourself. Oh no. She looks so good. good. The smell is amazing. It does smell incredible. Guy, are you talking shit right now? Yeah. yeah. Got a whole crew going. <laughs> Everyone's got a job. <laughs> but, but, That's hard. Your job is done. Check out your video.
You look great. You go again? Is that turn or no? Yeah, you probably need all three to complete the circuit. 